It's been 15 years. I'm stuck, I'm trapped, with nothing to do but drink. Fifteen years in the vents, with no daylight, and no form of escape in any way. Don't I feel stupid. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Possible Man 9000, and welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Let's get a re- Wait. I have to give up drinking. Uh, let's get a bit of a recap going. Last time, we are, um, basically, we're, we're still in the lion's den. The, the title is still applicable of the last episode, but now, we're officially in the Nazi base, and, uh... Well, right now, we're looking for a disguise, because we can't get to the, the gondola station to get Mei Ying without one, and I'm not a fan of dressing up like a Nazi, but if it helps us save Mei Ying, then I guess, I guess it's what has to be done. Oh. Okay. Well, there's a guy right there. Um, something should be done about him. Kind of just do that, or maybe, maybe, maybe just you know, grab his gun, and then we're gonna. Hey! Don't. No. No. Shh. Do, do you see how I'm going out of my way to be unreasonably calm, cool, and collected? That's that's the key. I've learned. I've composed myself, and that's all you need is to just, just. Chill out, calm down, even when you're murdering a Nazi, it's okay as long as he doesn't pull the alarm. It's fine. And now we gotta do a bit of, a bit of this action. It's okay, nobody suspects a thing. <laughs> Okay, he knew, he knew, he knew. I, I was hoping for a nice, calm little, little... There we go. Nice, calm little grab, but I guess he knew. I guess he knew the entire time, and he was just waiting to foil our plans of secret Nazi murder. I'm not going back that way, dude. There's a Nazi down there, dude. Do you see him? Holy crap. Okay, there's, um... I also didn't realize in the last episode, um... I did not find a as many artifacts as I thought I did. I thought I found most of them in the area, but one of them I was saying was an artifact, but was actually a med kit. And I, I, the entire episode, I had no idea. And it was even, I didn't even, I didn't even acknowledge it during editing. I, I only realized it. Okay, did he, he did not see us. We're just going to kind of chill out here because there's an artifact down below. I didn't even realize until this mor the morning of recording this, when I went back and I watched it. <laughs> to give myself a recap on where I was. Um, so, sorry about that. Uh, let me just, uh... There we go. He's no more issue. That's fine. It's full. It's what's full. What's full? It's full. Oh, it's my, my MP40. My MP40. Yep. That's my machete, which I did not mean to pull out. It's full. A single bullet. Oh, I mean that was two, but but shut up. And Jackpot. I believe that's the last artifact. I'm pretty sure I found two artifacts in the last one anyway. But I I was just calling one I was I was calling a med kit an artifact, which I I, I mean I don't know, by definition I guess it could be considered one, but I sh Okay. And now you're wondering why did I do the thing earlier? That's why. That's that's the sole purpose for having done that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Nope. No problems here. Nothing. No issues whatsoever. If you say there are issues, you're incorrect. There was an alarm right up here. Hi. These security papers should get me past the checkpoint. Okay. 
there's half the battle. I mean, you know, I'm not saying you should try to go, you know, in your normal outfit, but maybe it'll work. You know, maybe they'll just be dumb enough. Or maybe some dipshit will have forgotten to close his locker. All right. They say women like a man in uniform. I think this is probably an exception. I would say... That's, that's probably a reasonable assumption, right? I mean, your fingers are very long. But, like... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know if women are going crazy over a guy in a Nazi uniform. And now... You can't keep the machete. You have to leave it behind or else you're gonna get caught. Why are your fingers so long? Look at how long that guy's fingers are, my dude. Jeez, those are some pretty sizable fingers. Alright. And now, play it cool. They didn't suspect Sergeant, a thing. Colonel oh. Siemens requires a special messenger <laughs> to deliver a high security letter to Herr von Beck. A motorcycle is waiting out front to take you to the command center. Sergeant, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, Hitler. Oh. Get on with it. I'm in. Okay. And now, Punglai Mountains. Which, yes, is technically a different area. But I'm not going to upload a seven-minute Indiana Jones video, okay? So let's get into it. Punglai Mountains, now Indy's fingers are of normal length. And now we're just, we're, we're basically... Who? Where was Indiana Jones? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Indiana Jones, huh? <laughs> Don't like that guy. That guy sucks. That guy, uh... Now, there's a med kit in that box, but you know what? I'm not going to break it because I already have it. I already have... I, I mean, I already have three med kits, so I can't carry another one. All we got to do is just a little... And there we go. They don't suspect a thing. They don't suspect anything. It's fine. Uh, jeez. <laughs> hey, <laughs> working hard or hardly working? <laughs> All right, see you around, Nazi piece of fuck. It. They don't. They don't. They don't suspect anything. Is there anything down there? There's nothing down there. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. It's okay. We're up here. We're we're out of sight, out of mind. It's all good. But there is no. I didn't find two artifacts in the last episode because this is the third one. I'm gonna be a rich man. And I remembered this is Pung Lai Mountains, not Pung Lai Lagoon. So everything's fine. And we got some extra Mauser ammo. Are are is nobody suspicious that just one out of all the Nazis in this area is carrying a spear gun? Because that doesn't seem to be proper Nazi attire, so I'm not entirely sure. It's fine, I'm sure. Those air ducts must run throughout the entire base. Hmm. Interesting. Hi. Um. It's okay. Hey, hey, maybe, maybe we can. We don't have to settle those sophisticates. Maybe we can play a game of cards? No. Okay. Just. just it's alright. It's fine. I get it. Cards aren't for everyone. Thanks. I appreciate it. That's I mean, you know, fellow fellow sergeants, fellow officers need to take care of each other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> alright, now all we gotta do is we gotta. And then, again, we're, we're making rails so we can use our whip. Alright, gentlemen. It was a pleasure working with you, but I got a place to- I got places to be, people to see. Um... Something else. Okay. Alright, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything- everything is not fine. Because I didn't hit the right button. D I keep- I'm still not hitting the right button. It's alright. It's alright. No, it's fine. It's okay. Everything is alright. I'm good at this game. I promise. I promise you. Please believe me. I swear I'm good at this game. What am I doing? There we go. We're good. We're fine. Didn't even take me- Oh, no. Uh- ah! Okay. Okay. That's death. That's death down there. I'm not interested. I'm- I'm interested in not dying. Is that- if that's all the same to you? There we go. Alright. Oh. Nice. Oh. Not nice? I guess so. Um. 
Hey, hey, uh, hey, Billy, you, you good? You doing okay? Okay, well, Lord bless. Have a nice day. Okay, there's some more death, and frankly, I'm not interested. Just gonna, just gonna pass you up on that one. Pass you up on the, on the old, on the old death offer. You know. I've got a bad feeling about this. And you're probably right to. Okay. Why are these vents so bent on killing me? Good lord! I've never seen more murderous air vents in my life! Is this the right way? No. Yes, that is, because... As crazy as I am, I'ma not try to get past that. Because that, that's just, that's murder. Okay. Indy, we're supposed to do like a, a superhero pose. You're supposed to get like a Spider-Man kind of thing going. It's fine. Back to three med kits. I mean, we're That's still at three med kits because none of That's them were, work. were ever needed for any reason whatsoever. Moving on. Never used a single med kit twice in a row. Okay. We've had a few rough patches, but everything is still okay. Nothing is okay. Everything about this is not okay. There's nothing about this situation that is even remotely okay. Okay, um, maybe, maybe don't. Maybe, maybe, maybe just do it anyway. Maybe just, maybe just, maybe just freaking. How do you like being whipped? Oh, you have a gun. I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you didn't. There's a, no means no, you bastard. Get, he's not dead still. He's still breathing. I don't, stop it. No, okay. Oh my god! That man is like the next coming of Christ how much health he had. Okay. Oh. Ow. Well, the flamethrowers aren't really as bad as I was playing them up to be, I guess. Uh, I mean, not when you have a pistol. Somebody shut off the power to the gondolas. There's gotta be a generator room around here somewhere. It's fine. Yo, what? What am I playing? Dead by Daylight? D Indy, that's a separate series, man. I'm done with generator repairs until the next Dead by Daylight episode. For some, some bitches. I, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe the the horse malarkey that he's trying to put on my plate right now. Indy! Jackpot. There's the second artifact. Ooh. Good. What's artifacts when you're doing your job outside of your freaking job? Lord! Uh oh. Oh, oh, another one. Hi. He's dead. There. I killed your brother, my friend. I would be very scared of me if I were you. Me. I. It's anyone's guess how you just missed all of those, Indy. But. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to say you're being a scumbag. It's just, you know, making me j repair generators outside of Dead by Daylight, missing point blank shots on a guy with a flamethrower. It's kind of, kind of getting to me. I'm not gonna lie to you, and I might have to, I might have to vibe check you. You know. Okay, up we go. It's nice and quiet. No more combat music. Can everything just? Nothing's fine. It seems like going into a going through a door in this place is, is a suicide mission. What are we, some kind of suicide, Indiana Jones? Just got to do everything myself, don't I? Just you know, gondolas have to be. Uh, somebody has to have turned off the power to the gondolas. I gotta go fix them, right? You know, like I can't, I can't get, I can't get, um, freaking Klaus downstairs to go do it. He's the janitor. I mean, I could, I could get Klaus to. To go turn on the generator, but no, I gotta go up and I gotta go all the way through the vents. I'm tired of vent travel and I haven't done it for more than 20 minutes. Uh, what's Hans doing? Hans? Booby? Yeah, I, I named him Hans for the sake of another Die Hard reference. Don't judge me. I'm just gonna calmly walk alongside- OH! GOOD LORD! He's- Okay, it's fine. See ya. Just like that, he has ceased to live. And now we carefully, carefully, indeed, that was the opposite of carefully. I'm glad you're still breathing. Okay, um, now there's one more guy. You know what? I'm not even gonna use, I'm not this even gonna use, 
I'm not even giving you the privilege of dying by a Mauger. You get the spear gun treatment. You bastard. You stupid person. There, now, here's Hans. You had a ma uh, machine gun, thanks. Have a good day. Now, there's a section coming up that I used to do entirely wrong. So there's, when, I'm gonna, spoiler alert, skip to this time if you want to see what happens 30 seconds from now. Anyway, um, yeah, you come out when you turn on the generators, there's all the electricity and there are Nazis everywhere, and I used to navigate myself all the way over here, even though there was electricity right in the path, I used to jump over it and I used to climb up like this, and I used to go all the way back through the vents, right? Wrong. I'm gonna show you a way easier way to get by there without having to, you know, risk fatal injury. Let me show you. Now I just need to release the brake, and the gondola should be operational. Really don't want my job to be easy, do you? Give me, give me the, give me the, give me the thing. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm not gonna enjoy it, but I'll do it. There's. Oh, here he comes, and he knows. There's no sneaking up on this man. Apparently, apparently there is. I don't know. Yeah, may maybe. I mean, I, I didn't say there was no. Could you, could you, could you stop? Maybe just for five seconds. Could you just give me two, two seconds to explain myself. Could you, Andy? What are you attacking? What are you? No. I, I'm trying to explain myself here. Yeah. See, now you get it. Now you get it. You just give me five seconds to talk, and you know, everything's fine. Everything you understand. Everything. Jeez, Nazis today, dude. So disrespectful. They didn't, their mothers didn't raise them right, I guess, or something. I don't know. I need a drink. No. No. I told myself I'd give that life up. And now here's all the electricity. I think it's time to find a new place. Yeah, I think so. Did I just... I just got raffle stopped. Now, I could take my, my uh, old route, but I'm going to go... The direction that I think is the... Well, that explains where all the gunshots were coming from, gentlemen. Get out of here. Um, I'm gonna go what I think... I guess he just decided it wasn't worth living anymore, but I heard a grenade. Um, ow. Okay, we're fine. I am very low on ammunition. Okay, hoi! What I, I think this is... Oh, that's not... That's not the correct way. Okay. Carefully. Oh, wait, yeah. I was looking for this. Boop! I don't know what that did. I am legitimately at a loss as to what that did. There's a much easier way to get out of this place. See, if you just break the game, I want to get his machine gun. Or was not a machine gun? It was a Mauser. Either way. Um, you can just walk up here, and, uh, guess what? Okay, and then you walk down here. I look familiar? 18 years I was playing this game, and the answer was right under my nose the entire time. Because then, yeah, if you go the other way, which is technically the right way, if you go up and around again, you have to go through the vents, you have to whip across the gap, you have to wear, worry about not falling to your death, you have to get all the way over there, from, from over there, all the way back over here. But that, but here, you, you, you shave off like two and a half minutes of gameplay. It's so nice, and I've decided I don't like this window to be existing anymore. Goodbye. And there it is. It's done. Just like that. All our problems are solved. I am gonna murder the entire Nazi army in five seconds. Goodbye. No thanks. Don't want it. I'm not in the mood. I'm trying to give that up. No. You go over the edge. Goodbye. I'll see you in hell, you stupid bastard. <sighs> and now... So much for stealth and disguise. Time to ditch the goon suit. And thank God for it, because I did not enjoy cosplaying as a Nazi. <sighs> can't catch a break. Can't catch a break in this crazy world anymore, can you? Can you? Well, that's about all the time I have for this episode of Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Sorry about the sections bleeding into each other. I was, uh... I probably would have done that last Pung Lai Lagoon level in the last episode 
if I had more time. But, I mean, who cares? As long as the game is played, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, yeah. This is, uh, this is a perfect example of what the game is about to become. You're not going to be able to catch a break at all in the next few... In the, for the rest of the game, basically. So, um... That's something to look forward to. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. If you liked it, maybe drop a like down below. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace!